hello everyone welcome to another video in this video we will discuss how we can handle errors or exceptions in canvas apps you can see this is my screen right this is my canvas apps here i can create new students let me create a new student let's say uh, rocky and i'm just trying to give some option right now i can define the email id here and some mobile number and gender and degrees then the birth date right so i can define a birth date here and save it as soon as i will save it the record is saved here if i'll go to view students you can see this record is created now what if someone is trying to give some wrong value or uh, some value his uh, value has not been supplied let's say mobile number and email is mandatory and this has been uh, set as mandatory in business rules in my dataverse but what if you do not provide this email and mobile number and uh, try to save it so to handle this error in the save button you have to write down something so this submit form is used to submit the form right but if this submit form method will return error how to handle that so to handle errors in canvas apps you use if error right in in our power fx we have a if error function which is used to handle errors and inside this if error you have to pass the first expression it will evaluate the first expression so first expression is submitting the form so i'm trying to submit the form now if this function returns error then what will happen what will be the replacement value so second you have to pass what will the replacement value i want to notify the error so i can define here notify and i want to display the error right now inside that i can pass the notification error occurred and i can define the i can display here the error message by concatenating so i can use first error dot message right now this statement i have to end the bracket now this statement so not here i have to end the bracket so this is for notify and i have to again another uh, i have to give another bracket here so the what this function will do first it will evaluate this sub, this expression to submitting the form data that you have entered here to the dataverse if this expression throws error it will notify or it will replace the value with this message you can also provide some default value at last right if if so in if error functionality the third parameter is the default value right and if you want to execute multiple statements in one action you can also use multiple if error conditions right so let us check this how it works now once this if error is implemented let me run it i'll go back click on the add student and reset this value and try to create a student without email and mobile let us check let's say tina and k u m a r o tina kumari then i will i will keep email and mobile number blank and then the gender i will give the uh, female then i can select something in the health degrees and i can provide the birth date something else like right now click on save as soon as i will save it should throw error because i have handled the error the error is the requested operation is invalid server response students fail attribute soft email cannot be blank or cannot be null so let me give a so this time the record is not saved let me provide the email id and again click on save click on save now once you save it will ask you that another error mobile number is required and this is coming from the business rule configuration in my data first right so i can define a email and mobile click on save now the record is created 
so if i'll go back and click on view students this record is created right so this is how you can handle errors in canvas apps using if error functionality right so if error is used if error uh, can if error power fx is used to uh, handle the exceptions for any expression or action you are performing right so thank you for watching this video i hope it helps you see you soon